Hey guys, well, I'm gonna make occasionally, this is not gonna be a tab on the YouTube channel. So something I might do, crossover shows like James Bond and Doctor Who will be my next video. At least, this is, well, show crossover. This is gonna knock, I'm gonna, well, this is not gonna be a, a, a I'm gonna have, like, first off, Thomas meet James Bond. No, no, Thomas meet Doctor Who. Now, in case you're wondering, has he ever, which version of Bond, which version of the Doctor am I using? James, I get those two. I'm gonna use the ninth Doctor. My favorite Doctor my favorite doctor is the ninth doctor. So the ninth doctor, there, and Rose Tyler, sometime before she, can we just say this had happened in his, all before the season, the two finale, of the new Doctor Who show, which is still on the air as of the recording. So Bond. So the doctor, so so doctor who traveled back in time to watch. He actually crammed himself in Rose Tyler on Sodor all the way back in the nineteen hundred. In the nineteen hundred, for Doctor Who, that's a common occurrence. Him printing himself in and call it decades in the past. He printed himself in and call it Rose Tyler decades in the past. Anyway, the do doctor who the doc doctor who says where are we? Rose uh, where are we? Now now here's something I would have from Thomas in the match. Real world. Have the doctor and Rose be green. Have meet up with Mr. C or meet up with meet up with Thomas in live action. I know that's been done before in Thomas and the Magic Railroad, but this time Doctor Who. Not Rose asked, where are we? Uh, I have no idea," said the doctor. I have no idea," said the doctor. "Are you? Wait, I know where we are. Are we on the fable island of Sodor? I thought that was just a story." And the doctor said, "No, what the island of Sodor?" And she explained it all to Doctor Who. And by the way, where the Tardis craft land? By the way, Doc, yeah, yeah, Doctor Who crashed there with the TARDIS outside some, some, where, where Mr. Conductor teleported himself in, hum, in the Magic Railroad. Basically, I would use some set from that movie and where Doctor, or some, in terms of locations on the Island Sonar, let me show you where Doctor Who crash landed. He, uh, harms of location. Let me use the. He crashed right here. Right here. And he cast. He basically crashed in the countryside of Sodor. And Rose said, I know where we are. We're on the Fable Island of Sodor, Doctor. Doctor. It's Doctor Who said, I don't know what the answer is. I've been my entire life. Well, it's a magical island off the coast of England. Come on. I always wanted to, since I was little, I've always wanted to be here. Just like, just like how the Cybermen were introduced in Doctor, in, in the second season, of the new Doctor Who show, which I'm pulling inspiration from, 
they open up a portal in space and time to get to be on the island of Sodor. That's basically it. The episode pretty much starts out like a typical Doctor Who episode after the intro. Bro, where Doctor Who and Rose crash land the TARDIS in the island of Sodor. But those are... Does that mean... I, I, I want to see... I want to see some engines. Engines? By all means, let's find a railroad. As they walk from the TARDIS crash landed near at least it, let me tell you again where I think the TARDIS would have crash landed. The crash landed near Maron. Like right here, the TARDIS crash landed. So they walk or outside the country of 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 or somewhere here because I want Doctor Who and Rose Tyler to walk before they at least see any train lines. And Doctor Who and let's stop it let's let let's take a break at the station. They basically climb up and over Gordon's hill and walk, continuing to walk down to here, Wellsworth. They basically crash land at Maron right here before Gordon Hill go up and over Gordon's hill and then they stop right here. And then they hear the prey, the 714 from, from Natford to, to Vickertown will be departing, will not be stopping will be the parties will arrive soon. A doctor who said what wait, hold on. Yeah, I basically want him to crash land around here. Maron on the map. No. Basically Doctor Who crash lands the TARDIS. basically the TARDIS arrives at Maron. Run, and they take a, a big walk up and over Gordon Hill and arrive at Wellsworth when Doctor Who decides they board the print well they board Edward Brown for, they didn't hear the announcer saying all past here wanting to go to Nafford the print so basically they went from Maron to here and then they took a train ride all the way to here. How does that work? And then Doctor Who said, Rose, you, c I will find out why the prince can talk. And Doctor Who goes on, basically the episode splits into A and B, kind of like a typical Doctor Who episode. So, with the runtime of it. Where Doc, Rose, basically, Takes a walk from from Nafford to to talk to talk to the fat controller. She basically talked to the fat controller about how and Thomas knows that they're fictional. The railway series, yeah, it's only fictional. Oh my universe. But then she, well, Do Doctor Who, j did I say he wanted to find out why? He, he went all over the island, sort of, not just by train, but by bus. Basically, Doctor Who won the episode, kind of weird. The Doctor never heard of that play, so he said, fuck but then they meet up near halfway when the episode is almost over. Or when when the fact controller asks, Who's this, Rose? Oh, he's my friend. Friend. He's you guys. Dan. My name's Dan. I'm me and Rose are enthusiasts. And I've never 
if Rose found a little love because, well, Mickey, this happens after the episode where the, in terms of when it takes place on Doctor Who time, the episode with the Cybermen in the parallel dimension have just happened. The episode where the Cybermen in the parallel universe happened two weeks prior to this episode. So, Doctor Who finds out, sorry, Rose, you can never visit this island again. Because, as you said, it was a magical rip. It went as, well, Doctor Who walked all the way back to the TARDIS, get the teleported, to, get the teleported right here, the Nafar, for the thing. Well, Rose, are we, are you ready to go on one of Last adventure here on, on the Fable. Yes, I would like to take a train ride. Right. I would like to take me and you from Nah. I always wanted to see this station Shin, as a kid whenever I saw it on the TV show. Show. Oh? A Doctor Who paused it for a minute. Then they take Thomas. Basically, Thomas does appear throughout the episode. But not in a big role. Even though he... They basically take... I'm not, I like to imagine there's also a loop a la the CGI here. Doctor Who basically... They basically take one last train up to Farquhar and then Do, Doctor Who says... And then Rose said... Can I show you the TV show when we get back? Sure. You can explain why it's a fable island. A doctor who said, as she got sent to the TARDIS, the fact controller said, Wait, are you Doctor Who? Indeed I am. Autograph? Turns out, in the universe of Thomas, Doctor Who is a fictional TV show, and in the universe of Thomas, Doctor Who is a in the universe of Doctor Who, Thomas is a fictional TV show, so, well, none of it makes any parallel dimension don't make any sense. Basically, parallel dimension don't make any sense whatsoever. Basically, I like to think that's basically parallel dimensions don't make any sense whatsoever. Basically, a Doctor Who and Rose Tyler climb into the TARDIS, and Doctor Who does the stuff that he needs to. To Rose says goodbye to the Fat Controller. So, as the episode ends, and with that, with them watching Thomas and Friends season whatever episode whatever, and Rose showing her what Thomas and his friends is. Doctor Who is surprised. And yes, the TARDIS been making the Doctor Who never and Rose said, Is there any chance we can go back to that world? Maybe. No. But then Doctor Who's a stamina. Huh. What? There's three parallel universes. And with the time. We could try to but yet travel through the void you think is it possible? Not without the right amount of energy. A Doctor Who, which ultimately led to the series finale. But Doctor Who didn't realize that they time where they traveled to with the the Mall series of Thomas. But yet the next time, 
I would have it be a three part crossover between Thomas. Like three different episodes of Doctor Who and Thomas. The first, this is actually the second one. The first one is obviously going to be the Railway Series. Is that just the same Wilkinson map? Actually, the second, the first one is actually going to be the Railway Series. Same thing as before this. But this happened before the episode where the Iron Man are introduced. And the last one. I'm going to use the Brenner era for ma Now, by the time Doctor Who accidentally hit some lever in the target to time travel on Ford and Time and Thomas and Friends by the time of the Brenner era. Once again, same thing as before. So, Doctor Who says, with problems in the parallel worlds, is once again impossible. There was a, a small rift in the, that I ran the fix. As they, they didn't actually go back home after all the time. They landed in other versions of the Iron Throne, actually. So, so basically, that's what be the Doc Who Thomas and Friends crossover. So, until James Bond meets Doctor Who. Which are going to be next month. Until then, I'm not pumped. I will see you.